to your talk, and today I'll be um, talking about styrofoam pollution or polystyrene pollution. Um, so each year in America alone, 14 million tons of styrofoam is put into landfills each year. And then the problem, so styrofoam is actually a brand of, like a company that makes um, goods with polystyrene, so styrofoam technically isn't the correct name. 30% um, of the space in, our, in America's landfills is filled with styrofoam, and then it takes approximately 500 years to decompose. Um, companies use polystyrene because it's very, um, it's a good insulator, it's really light, and it's very cheap, so it's cost effective. And then my solution. So my solution is a styrofoam composter, which uses darkling beetle larvae, also known as mealworms. Um, and this um, solution is to help reduce the amount of styrofoam that's already on the planet, instead of other solutions like corn-based products, um, which just help the amount that's being produced in the first place. Um, so this is the scientific name of the darkling beetle. But so the larvae of these insects have a bacteria in their gut called XCD bacterium. And this is actually able to decompose styrofoam, which is really cool. And it's specifically strand YT2 of this bacteria. And so to mass produce and mass um, compost styrofoam, you would have to either mass produce this specific bacteria or have a lot of mealworms. Um, so how it works. So there's two parts to my prototype. And so the first part is where the mealworms are housed, and that's where they eat the styrofoam. And then the bottom is actually, uh, it's like mesh. So it's like mesh. And so the, their waste goes into this weapon drawer. Um, and that's where all the compost is held. So testing. Um, I wanted to figure out how much um, 50 mealworms could eat within a week. And um, so I had chunks of styrofoam in this just Tupperware container with 50 mealworms. And it started at 4 grams. And at the end of the week, I weighed it again and had gained weight, which very confusing, but um, I actually found that they start, had started to hollow in, like bury into the styrofoam and were hollowing it out from the inside, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and then when I took out all the mealworms, it had only lost one gram. But um, styrofoam only weighs 0 0.05 grams per cubic centimeter. So altogether, they ate about 20 cubic centimeters of styrofoam, and each of them ate 0.4 cubic centimeters of styrofoam. Um, so one of the problems of my design, like I mentioned earlier, that you would have to have a ton of mealworms or of mass-produced that bacteria. Um, and scientists actually did a, pro like a study on this, and they found if they started feeding the mealworms other types of food again, they would no longer eat the styrofoam because of the, all the bacteria like interacting in their gut. And then a problem that I have with my specific prototype is somehow the mealworms have figured out how to get out of this top container and get into this one. It's not a big deal, but that was something. There's like a crack in between two pieces of wood, I think. And then connections. Um, so in AP Human Geography, one of the things we learned about was culture. And styrofoam has become a large part of especially American culture. And people use styrofoam a lot on a daily basis, whether it's their coffee cups or a to-go container. Um, and then uh, for chemistry, I was able to hypothesize how much <laughs> um, styrofoam eats, mealworm would eat, and how much they would totally eat in a week. And then, so for ELA, one of the hardest things to find is trustworthy resources, because especially when I'm trying to find other solutions that were already out there, a lot of like, um, a lot of the websites that I found were commercial sources, which aren't the best to use because they're trying to get you to buy their product, and so they'll say things that aren't necessarily true. Um, so. And from ELA, we learned how to determine if it was a trustworthy resource or not. And then for math, I was able to use systems to figure out how much um, styrofoam they ate within that week. And so I can make a graph out of that and figure that out. Um, so these are some of my sources. So thank you.